Phoenix 200. It's a new film stock. Many of you have probably heard of it. It came out last year. It is created by Ilford, who are masters of the black and white film world. However, this is their first color film. From what I've seen from others, this film is pretty unpredictable. I think it's still very much in the development stages, but fair play for having a crack at it. It's not an easy thing to do. Film has been slowly dying a little bit and actually they're keeping it alive. I know a lot of us photographers are doing our best to try and keep film alive. And we just need those prices just to drop a little. I tested this film stock over a few different days, different types of weather, a little bit at very early morning, so there was no light at all. And here are some of the results. I love this pub sign. Always really makes me want to go in and just have a monster meal, but it's always been closed. So most of what you're seeing now is captured around Fulham. And there's not a lot going on in this area at this time of day, but it was nice to roll off a couple of shots. Walking around Parsons Green here in the afternoon, it's always pretty busy. And what I'm trying to do, I'm shooting at a 200 speed, so I can't get a great amount of light hitting the sensor. So I've still got to be stopping down quite a lot. And actually it was very hard to zone focus. But these are just a couple of passing shots that, that haven't really led to much. It was still worth trying them out. So the park I'm entering now is South Park, and it's just down from Parsons Green towards Hornsworth Bridge. The light was nice, it was that time of evening afternoon where it's still a little bit crispy in the air, and we had a few people wandering around, either commuting back home or just trying to enjoy a little bit of sunshine towards the end of the day. I couldn't work out what this was in the distance, but it turns out it was this huge dog sitting on the bench. I really like it. The biggest shame is it was shot on Phoenix. So there's clearly not much latitude through this film stock. However, the idea of having this woman sat on the same bench as her dog, her dog taking up the majority of the bench because it's huge, is great. But her skin tones are completely blown out. The colors are a bit like you're on drugs. All in all, it's actually not a great photo. But in theory, it could have been really nice given it was taken on the right film stock. So as we're walking here along the Thames, I can see some boats in the distance. So I wanted to get up close to them, see if we could get any nice pictures. One thing you can see from these images is there's a bit of a red cast being pushed across everything. And I'm not sure if that's because the sun was pretty low and it was testing the dynamic range a lot. I overexposed both rolls by two stops and you can still see in the shadows that they're pretty murky. And I know at this time of day, dynamic range is really going to be tested. And you can see that there's not a great dynamic range. And this is where you can see Phoenix film stock really start to break down. So I stuck around here for a little while, caught a couple more, and also noticed that the Battersea helipad down the Thames was pretty busy. And so I wanted to wait until one of those was flying over and try and capture it within the frame. And that's what I've done here. In the moment, I thought this was gonna be world class, but as you can see, it's another pretty basic image.
It's got to that point in the day where the sun's just going in 200 speed on the film, so it's not necessarily going to be coming out nicely. And that one with the helicopter, I just lost the light just before. So I have no idea what any of those exposures are going to be like. And also, I reckon that dynamic range is going to be really tested there. So day two, an early morning start. And if you've seen my Cine Still film, you'll know I'm not great in the mornings. But with a tripod, I thought, let's try and test this 200 speed film on some slow shutter speed when it's nice and dark. Now this strip we're walking down, I know it's incredibly cliche and a lot of photographers shoot here, but not a lot of them shoot here on film, on a new film stock, on a tripod at night. So I thought I'd give it a go. And again, the dynamic range has been really tested here. In theory, with something like a Cine Still 800 or a Portrait 800, this shot could have been really, really nice. The city was covered in a bit of mist and that was well worth capturing. As we arrive at Tower Bridge, you can see in the sky there, there's a nice glow starting to appear. And that was only going to get better the more the morning went on. Again, for these shots, I just wish I had a film shot that had a bit more latitude and a bit more detail. Oh my God, it's literally poking over. What a beautiful morning. The sun has kind of taken over this one. Not a lot we can do about it. It's just a very warm sort of sepia glow that kind of just demolishes the rest of the image. Once we felt the sun had come up enough, it's pumped head to the other side of Tower Bridge to Butler's Wharf. Butler's Wharf is an awesome place. And if you're a photographer or filmmaker, you should definitely go shoot there. There's also some great hidden areas there with some wicked vantage points, and here is one of them. be the only sun we see all day and it's 10 past 7. It's not ideal. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll go into this building behind me which is Butler's Wharf. There's some nice images in there. I just need a little bit more light though. So maybe a coffee and then we'll come back out. This place is naughty. An interesting morning. I've been nervous because we've been shooting at Harman, and from the results that I've seen, Harman seems to be quite unreliable. It's a very new film stock came out last year, and results have been really mixed. So there was definitely some nice opportunities early. I think we've slightly run out of that light, and I'm not quite sure what to do yet. Then we'll head back to London Bridge, try and burn off the last 10, but we're at 200 speed, and it's going to be an overcast day, so it's going to be a bit grey, and I don't really think we'll have the light for it. So chill out for a little bit, finish the coffee, take in the morning, and nice and quiet, 
and we'll see where we get to. I love this place. We shot here for the launch of the Stubble & Co roll top bag, which, I mean, my water station is about 10 minutes. I normally see at least 20 of those bags in my way. So it's been one of the most successful bag launches I've ever seen. But yeah, we've shot it here and it is stunning. I look like a lovely place for a pint. Look at that. Oh, it's got my name written all over it. As soon as I left the Thames and started heading back towards London Bridge, the commuters are in full flow now. It's pretty carnage. And so the type of photography here has to change. You're taking less time on framing up an image. You're trying to show the hustle and bustle a little bit. Your eyes are just having to work double time. Let's see how this goes. Down the 60 shutter, 200 speed is not the one today. And that's it. That's Phoenix. I don't think I like it. Is that a bit negative? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fair enough. <laughs> yeah. It's slightly less punchy. I'll go with that. It's just not for me. And looking back at some of these images, they are noisy, they're grainy, they're inconsistent. The latitude across the film is not good. You know, you're losing a lot of those highlights. And yes, it was a blown out white day, but you're losing a lot of those highlights and getting very murky shadows. And all in all, the detail isn't there either. So. I can't really see where I would want to use Phoenix again, but as a film stock that is going through development and testing, and it's a lot cheaper, it is kind of worth it for a few fun shots. The colors are very vivid and often a bit off-putting, but if that's your style and you quite like that, then go for it. But it's a bit unnatural and it doesn't quite suit my workflow. So if I had to give this film stock a rating out of 10, I'm gonna put it down at a three, but I've seen worse. So have you shot Phoenix? What are your results? I'd love to know where you shot it, what environments are best to shoot Phoenix, and also, are you finding better results when you push the film or pull the film? With all that in mind, it was still really good fun. There is no bad experience when shooting film, even if the photos aren't gonna turn out how you expect them to. The only real way if you know if you're gonna like this film stock is go pick up a roll yourself. Go shoot it, have fun with it, and let me know how you find it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.